Okay. Now go to e drive under VDIT.net to core MDC. Select folder. Next. Hey, sorry, 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 sorry. Remove configuration. Create. What will happen? It will create the project for you. Right? Now go here. In the program.cs file, you got everything will be there. Now, first I will add here 40 things. App dot use routing and then app dot use map controllers. These are all the default configuration you have to make at any point of time. And here app dot use static files. App dot use static files. Now build the project. And here in the builder, you need to add a service builder dot services dot add mvc controller add controller with loops done now i done the configuration build the project now what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a folder just see the flow i'm going okay controllers here i'm going to add a student controller These are all the basic steps which I need to create at any point of time. Okay. Student controller. Right. Now in the student controller, I need to create a view. So what I will do, I'll go to add new folder views under which I will add one more folder student. There I'm going to add a layer index page. Add view razor empty add add. I remove everything. I use HTML. I use head. Here I'm going to use a title saying that student details okay this is the basic structure you need to follow at any point of time now i'm using a body tag here i'm going to use h1 student details done now i completed my flow now come back to start this one i'm going to use a route config route as an attribute here i'm going to say slash now, save all, go here, use your express, run. Within two minutes, I done everything. Say it will serve you the student details. See, I got the student data. Now, coming back, sir, I want to create a model in my project. Under solution, I'm creating a class library project with the same .NET framework version. Okay. Select this. Next. What is my project name I created? What is my project name? Sample student application application model always better to have models okay plural models then your framework should be the same what i created in the mbc core mbc core i used dot net 0 8.0 so i'm using the same framework here there are a couple of other frameworks but i'm using the same framework create what will happen? A class library project will be created. In the solution explorer, I'm deleting this and right click 
add a class name student. I'm going to say student model. Right? Sir, I don't want all these unnecessary namespace which are not using. Right click. You see there is a remove and sort using. You can right click, say remove and sort using. Unwanted namespaces will go out. You should not use the class as internal because when you build a, this class should be exposed to the other, other values. You have to make this as public. Those who are learned C sharp from me, they can understand. Okay. Here, public in student ID. I'm simply passing get set. And same way, I'm going to use here, I'm going to make string I'm going to make your name, right? Now, copy. I'm going to make your date time. Here, I'm going to say date of birth. And then, I'm going to say one more public string, gender. That's it. Now I'm having three values. Build it. Clear? Yeah. Now I created a model in my model project. So how many projects I created here? Can anyone tell me? How many projects I created? I created my web core project out of which I'm created a model project. Now I'm going to try to create a one more project called service. Same class library, I'm going to create a one more project called service. What is my service name? Sample student application service. And then create. Now here, in the sample student application service, I am removing this. I'm going to create a class name called student service class. I'm creating a class name, student service. Right? And then I'm going to make this as public. Now tell me to call this student model class in the service, what I need to do? Anyone can tell me? Listen carefully. This model I need to, student model class need to come here. What I need to do? Anyone can tell me. You can just move. Guys, please ahead. speak. If you are not speaking, no what? No use. Hello. So could you just repeat the question, sir? See, I want to call this model into my service. Can I use the model directly here? For example, student no, model, speaking. it will work. No, we can just add a service to uh, use service to it. No. First, you need to add the model library into the dependency of service. You are referring this model into this dependency. Right click, add project reference. You go and select the model. Click OK. Now, if you go here, you see. There is a model project is added in the service. Earlier, you don't have. Now you are having. You see here, dependency, you don't have any projects. But here you have a project. Because of service, you are added. Okay. Now go back to your service. You try to use a namespace of using sample models. Got it? Please say yes or no. Yes, sir. And then CTOR, I'm using this student service. And then here, I am going to create a model. How I'm going to create a model? 
प्राइवेट लिस्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट मॉडल हियर आई एम गोइंग टू से स्टूडेंट्स राइट here i'm going to say students now here student model why it is not working it should work right yeah students model equal to get student list right now i am generating this as a private method quick action generate list now what happen a private method will be created okay once i create the private method what i will do i'll add the object for this list of student model here i can say student models equal to new of list of student models now student models dot add of not add range you have to use new of student model where i am going to set the property what property i can set time being i am setting id equal to 1 student name since i don't have a time i'm going to use like this data per something equal to convert dot wait every time writing this is bore what i will do i'll go to open container from here education management right we did yes sir where is that service you see here we written a service mm. not this one yesterday we added right nice What is the project name we created yesterday? Do one thing. Start by date modifier. Today is six. No, uh, institute management. There you go. Service. So open the service. Edit. You take this entire list. copy this entire list exit simply go use student model done now once you done that you are returning the student model written student models now build the project done sir i got the student service which internally called the get student list everything is perfect now collapse okay now go back to the project here in the student application project service i need to add both model in this project both model and service in this project so right click add project reference add both the service and model because model has business logic sorry <clears throat> model as entity what entity we have student entity which contain student id student name date of birth age whereas uh service as the business logic so i need to add both click okay now what will happen 
this sample application project contain the reference. Now go to the controller. You just go and call a student service first. Create an instance of service. Listen carefully. And here, instead of creating here, what I'm going to do for this controller, I'm creating a constructor. Okay. In this constructor, I'm going to create a private. What is my service name? Student service. I can simply say service, simply say student service. I'll tell you why I'm using like this. Now here student service equal to new of service. See here I'm not creating instance. Where I'm creating the instance? I'm creating instance at the time of calling this controller class. Have you got my point? Please say yes or no. When I am calling the student controller, automatically this controller will call the instance of the service class. With that service class, I'm going to call the student object. What is my student object? List of student model. Here, students equal to service dot equal to student service dot. I need to write a method. I need to write a method. So let me do one thing. Go back to the service class. Here I'm writing a method saying that public list of student model get student get student list is my method. Everybody clear or not understandable? Here, the model what I already created at runtime is holding an object. So I'm simply returning student model. That's all. Now go build the service first. Oh, get students, students list. Now, build. Done. Uh, here, you can simply say build student list so that people can understand properly. Now, you go here, you say build student list. Now, Build. Done. Go back to the controller. Here you say list of students model students equal to service. Sorry, student service dot get student list. Done. Are you clear? Please say yes sir. Say the name. Yes sir. Press one. Jafar, Nitin, Raj, Riti. Yes, yeah, clear? yeah, clear sir. See the yeah. point here is I'll show you. Let me see how the flow will happen. What is our first call will happen? What is our first call will happen? Controller constructor will get detected, right? So I'm putting a breakpoint. Now, this constructor will call internally a student service. And then you will call this one. Once the constructor completed, it will come to the right route. Now see, this will be your first call, which internally calls the student service. What happened? Now this will call the student service. Now see here, run the express, you see the flow.
which one is calling first the very first time when you call a url is it calling my route or is it calling my constructor of controller which one it is calling constructor constructor, constructor of controller constructor of controller this one internally call the constructor of student service see and it is building the object i'm not doing anything everything will be taken care now the student service will hold the object now you see here you see there is a method everything will be there now if you go inside the class of student service you get the student model the model which already built it is holding an object you see there is a lot of five values which i created did i created that at the time of creating a constructor itself i built it now i am simply returning that object as simple as that i've never done anything clear everybody clear say yes sir no yes 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 sir okay now the point here is the moment i got the value in my view i need to bind that value how to do that anyone can tell me what to do that at using using the sample application models dot that's it here you have to say at model what is your project name sample application model dot student model right so this model should be encapsulated under i enumerable i enumerable rubble of that's it why i am using i enumerable because it is returning list of models list of student now once i got here here i am going to write for each i am going to build this using for each right student model student model in model in this property you are going to get everything in this property you are going to get everything right once you get that model from the collection of model i am going to build my ui simply say div here i am going to have a table here i am going to have a tr tag i can say td tag student name here i am going to have td at student model dot you see student name is coming then copy the one more tr paste here i can say date of birth date of birth what i can pass here i say date of birth here now take one more tr paste here i can say age sorry gender you make your gender then that's all i never done anything now save all <coughs> go to the model go to the service let's build that uh, gender gender equal to male copy this one because i want to see that in the ui Mm. Gauri will be female. Okay, I'm changing into. I 
narendraism here okay now build that now run it you see the data whatever you are receiving everything will be in a div format I'm removing this breakpoint, run. I'm also removing this breakpoint, run. I'm also removing this breakpoint, run. I'm also removing this breakpoint, run. Hmm. Why null reference? The details would not be coming here. Okay, I understand. In the controller, you need to pass the student model. Right? Here, you have to say which view you have to call. It's a best practice. Along with that, what is the model you are passing? What is your view name here? Index. You got all the data. Sir, this is not beautiful. I want to make some CSS apply. How to do that? Go to Solution Explorer. In the Solution Explorer, right click, add new folder, www. Right? You created an app root folder. Close this. In the app root folder, I'm trying to add a class. What is my class? Style.css. You see there is a style sheet. You select the style sheet. Just say add. Done. Save this. Go to index.cshtml. Here, you can simply add link href mm, ww root slash file sheet dot css and say rel style sheet. I don't think you need this. You simply say dot dot. That's it. And build. So to get this root data, you need to use in program.cs file, app dot use static file. If this was not there, your CSS will not get built. Now go to body, body, background, iPhone, color, simply say beat. Okay, save all, run the express. <clears throat> Now you see, everything is in white color. Now what I'm going to do, just listen carefully here. Here I'm going to write a CSS apply. What I'm going to apply, font, family, Perdana, Okay, sorry. Vardana, save all, and then div. I'm going to use a div tag. Div tag. Background color. Linear gradient. Forty-five degree. Chocolate. Comma, blue, comma, chocolate, and then color, white smoke, 
and uh, width equal to 350 pixel, height equal to 200 pixel, display inline block. That's all. I'm not giving anything more than else. I'm just giving run. You got it? Say yes or no? Everything is ready with the yes. headline block? Yes, sir. Now, instead of 350, let me say 400 pixel. This is somewhat okay. Instead of let me put this 500 pixel. Okay. This is okay. Mm. Color is not taking because it has, should be in table PR CD. Here you can say color. White more better to have here. Save all, refresh. Now you got the color. Fine. Everybody clear? But I yes, need certain padding and margin. I say padding 10 pixel margin 10 pixel. Refresh, not here. Let me have padding here. Save all. Why? I do one thing. Width, I will change 350 pixel. Height, I will change 150 pixel. Refresh. Fine. Now it got fit. Right? Tomorrow, if you are adding, everything will be 3 row, 3 row, 3 row, 3 row, like that. Okay? This is how the basic structure of PD. Now, the point here is, this is not my topic, actually. I built it everything. The point here is, whenever a new call happened to the controller, it tried to create an instance of the service. Am I right? Say yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. And then this service internally create an object for you and give to the controller. That means your service and your front end layer is tightly coupled. If you are not, if you are making any change in the service layer without the service completion, for example, if I'm not completed the implementation of the service, I cannot able to build the UI or controller. Without completing the service, I can't able to do so. To avoid that, I'm going for a concept called dependency injection. How I'm going to make this as a dependency injection, let me explain. So how I'm going to do in the solution explorer, right click, new project, Next, sample student application contract. Student application contract. What contract? It is a service contract. Okay, student application, I'm creating a service contract, create project. 
now i have a service layer see i have a how many how many project layers i have anyone can tell me i have a application layer application order service contract layer i have a service layer and then i have a model layer right in the service contract layer i am going to create an interface i am going to create an interface new item saying that i student service i student service clear my point everybody i create yes, a i student service public whenever i use i student service the method which are available here should be registered as a service contract i can create as a service contract here but it will not work why because you need to refer model to this service right click add project reference select the model click okay now now hold on a second i'm removing now build the project now come back here public list of student model which was derived by the namespace here now what i am going to do i am get that student list right now i created a contract or not say yes or no i create i built yes. a contract now in this contract i am in the service model i am adding that prod, prod contract as a reference okay and then click okay now in the student service in the student service i am going to inject not the student service let it be okay let it be here in the student service i am going to use i student service in the student service i am going to use i student service i am building the project everything is succeeded now go back to your program.cs file here in the main project.cs file here i am going to register that service as a service descriptor how i am going to register builder dot service dot add new of service descriptor where not this like this you have to pass here as a parameter i can say here type of i student contract comma type of student service comma service lifetime service lifetime dot transient i am telling my model my project as a dependency injection or you got my point now in the controller i am not creating an instance 
here i am getting i student service as a constructor listen carefully i am getting a i student service as a constructor where service here i am going to say this dot student service equal to the service which has been created at the run time Mm, something wrong. You can put like this. Just to you. Here you have to say I student service. You got the point, everybody? Yes, sir. So basically, what what happen is you create a contract. Listen carefully. You create a contract saying that get load student list. The moment you create this contract, that contract will be implemented in your student service. You all agree with this? Till now, you understand? Say yes or no. This is most important topic. Pranit, Raj, Nitin, everybody. If you are not understanding this, you cannot build the Dependency injection and inversion of control. Hello. Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So the point here is in the controller, first I will do, I will call the student service method, which internally call this method to implement. How to create object for the student service in, in your controller? To do that, in the program.cs file, under builder, you are adding that as a service. I will talk about lifetime of service transient and all later point of time. Don't worry about it. What you need to do? First, you need to add as a service like this. How you will add the services? We, we used the route constraint, we used the year constraint, we used the model constraint, all these things we added as a service, right? Similar fashion, you need to add everything as a service. Tomorrow, if you are building 20 services, you can add here. Okay. Once you add that, in your controller, you are not going to pass the class. You are going to pass the construct interface implementation. That will catch the object here. That object will be passed. You see here, I'm putting a breakpoint. Now you go to the program.cs file. I'm trying to build it. The same logic will happen. Only the dependency injection will be worked. Now you see here, F11, I am built at a service. I'm built at a service i'm i'm registering the service into my builder dot service class when you click continue see you got the instance of the service here you got the instance of the service or not yes sir say everybody say you got the instance yes. please say yes or no this week, Pranit, yes. Raj, yes, sir. Raj Kumar. Yes, sir. Did I create any instance from the controller class? Did I create any instance for the student service? No. It is created by IOC container. Inversion of control. Are you got my point? It will automatically detect and try to run it. No change, nothing will happen. Now, I can prove you one more thing. Sir, when the service will call, I'm putting a breakpoint here. I had put uh -huh. a breakpoint of controller. Now, I'm to run. Uh -huh. See this. When I'm adding the builder.service, nothing will happen. When I try to call F11, build 
at the time of building the project, that service is creating an instance for you. Listen carefully. Let me prove you one more time. See, I'm removing this. In the program.cs file, I'm putting a breakpoint in app.run. Listen carefully here. Okay, in the student service, I'm removing this. Okay, I'm putting a breakpoint of student service. And I'm not having any, I'm putting a breakpoint of student controller service. I'm putting my builder service. So first, see the flow, how it goes. First, it is calling my builder service. F11, F11, builder is loaded, static files, routing, run. The moment you run, the app builder directly calling your student service to build the object. That is your first call. The moment in program.cs run, because of the service you registered, it is trying to create object for this service by default before it is calling the request. Now continue. It is coming to the controller because the object is already created for the student service with the help of app.run. Once you get that one object, what will happen? It immediately call the student controller which is going to pass the instance of that particular service. Once you get that service, and it is called the action method, which is already holding the method. Now it is building the project. Like that, you can have n number of services can be registered and pass the same service for the n number of times in the same controller. That is the idea behind it. Tomorrow we are going to talk about, let me add two services. One is student service, another one is course service. How I'm going to integrate both services in a single call. Clear my point? Now you all understand what is inversion of control? Raj, Preeti, Pranit, Nitin, Jafar. Say yes or no. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is how the IOC container will be registered. Let's take a notes. <coughs> Let's take some little bit notes so that we can understand. Ah, dependency of principle, injection principle, injection principle. What we are trying to do? First point, we need to create a, what we need to create? We need to create a contract service as an interface. Interface name called what is the contract? What is the name of the contract? I student service. Right? This is your first thing. The second thing under student service class under student service class, we need to implement I student service interface. I student service interface. Right, that is your second point. So that 
third point so that all the methods which are declared in interface i i student service i student service will be implemented must and should will be implemented must and should if i have three methods in the interface it should be implemented all the three methods in your service class that is very clear third point once you done the implementation of service what do you need to do you need to register that service in your program.cs file to to register service contract and service implementation class service implementation class as a dependency injection as a dependency injection where you need to implement that class this is the method you need to write go to in program.cs file here you are going to add this is how you have to right you are saying what is your contract what is your implementation what is the lifetime lifetime i will teach later tomorrow but you need to understand what is your contract and what is your implementation you are matching both and then you try to implement that is most important right once you done that sixth point Sixth point. At the time of in the service constructor service implementation class, service implementation containing constructor will detect. Will detect. Direct spelling, or will get the object of the interface containing class class dynamically before calling the before calling the controller. Controller class. Because it means it means app dot run method will automatically create object for the service class. Automatically create object for the service class. That's why it is called it as. That's why it is. That's why. Mm, that's why we are called as. We are calling it as. Dependency of. Dependency inversion. Principle. Which we will call it as DIP, dependency inversion principle. You are telling your app dot run method. These are all the services I added in your application builder. Try to create object. Keep it ready. Whenever I require, I am going to use it. Clear my point? Everybody clear? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now the point here is, I got the div. How I am going to use IOC container? 
after creating instance or after creating instance of a dip if the object we are using the object we are using in controller or called as controller constructor method will be called as ioc which is called inversion of control controller constructor will be called as ioc what is meant by ioc inversion of control the object you are passing to the service before creating a object before cre after creating an object of the service method or you got my point this is most important topic this is one of the important topic in asp.net mvc okay now you all understand why people are creating this much of projects in everywhere See, every time you go and create a service independently, your, this service is not going to be dependent on the controller. I can test the service independently. I can test my application independently. Because I have my contract. That's all for today. Anybody have any questions? You can, I can answer. I have completed uh, services uh, classes before. Come again? Have you completed services classes? Yes. So that's why I'm not understood. This is I'm lost. So sorry, I am not. Everything is understood, but uh, service uh, services topic is uh, I did it get. Services I created, no? But internally, what happens? Uh... Internally means I don't understand. How to uh, corrections uh, uh, configuration? No problem. Okay, configure all just now. Manadi, I think our leader, I can only all just now. That internal guy in general, sir. See, uh, sorry guys, somebody may not understand Telugu. I will explain. See, the point here is, you created a service class earlier, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Student dot service class. Let me let me right. close everything. I'll go with the flow. In the solution explorer, you have a service class here, right? right. This is your student service. Okay. This student service constructor will be got invoked automatically. Are you clear with the still point? Yeah, okay. So answer answer what about interface? There is like inherit the interface. Wait, 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 wait. I'll come there. I'll come there. I'll come there. I'll come there. Let me go with the flow. See, you created a service. Don't okay. think that you have a I, I, I service. Generally, okay. if you have a student service in the controller class, what you will do? You will create object for the controller. Right? Here you will go and create an object. Right? Okay. Say yes or no? Yes, sir. Am I right or no? So how you will create yes. an object? student service equal to new of student service. That means the instance of the student service will be folded as an object. Based on that object, you are going to call the student service. Now what I'm saying, I am not going to create object at the dynamic runtime. I'm not going to create object at the runtime. Instead, what I'm saying, hey app builder, you create object whenever I needed, I was going to use it. I'm telling my app builder to create object for all the service. How I'm going to do that? For that, I am creating a contract saying that this is my I service, I student service, which is going to inherited by my student service dot DLL. Clear? Till now you clear? Yeah, yeah. Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Raj. Ah, yes, sir. And then I am going to register this to as a service in the builder. Then only this app will try to create object. Otherwise, how do this app know? What is your app? App is a 
application builder right anything you want to add as a service then right. only the builder can understand yes there is a new service is created where i need to create object for it right understand or not raj no sir he has not understood uh, if like uh, uh, there is one more controller so uh, we can like add one, uh, one more service over here yeah that is so what tomorrow i'm here. going to do that probably you will understand very well okay where you are confusing raj Only services, the topics only. Otherwise, I complete everything. Everything I have done good, and only services topics. I am confusion on it. What so after uh, going on? I am understood, sir. So today, yesterday, I am hard work. So I am start the process. You know, today, I am start the end. Hard work to do. Okay, sir. You know, me previous class, you know, okay, sir. Hard work to do. Okay, then you do one thing. You you go through the yesterday's class and today's class once again. Okay, you will understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Anybody have any questions? Others? Nitin Chaitanya. Uh, Priti, you understand? We have understood. Yes, sir. Priti. Yes, sir. I got it. Okay. Nitin, you got it. Yeah, yes, sir. Huh? Nitin. Yes, sir. It is a bit confusing because I was not under the previous classes. Okay. See, today I teach from scratch. You will easily understand today's video. Go through it. Don't look for yesterday's video. Forget about yesterday's video. Take today's video and try to look that you you will hundred percent understand what is happening in the background. Today's video itself more sufficient to understand. Okay. Go through today's video. Probably in another two hours, I will up, I will upload in the drive. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. We'll meet at eleven forty-five. <clears throat>